Okay, welcome back again. This is El Maestro and this is my YouTube channel. Okay, welcome back. Thank you for always tuning in. And this time we'll have a perfect factoring a perfect squared trinomial. Okay, so sa katong mga bago lang, thank you. Welcome to my channel. And before proceeding again and again, always remember to rewatch, to review. Okay, mga nauna nga video. Okay, because katong mga some topics there is needed sa pagpadayo nato sa kaning nga bago nga topic. Okay? So especially yung perfect square na mga numbers, roots, okay? So those things kailangan nato na siya. Okay? So kung you think andam na mo, let's let's go. Okay, don't worry because I will remind you of some of those things, okay? Especially perfect square. Class, kailangan na tong perfect square. And kailangan memorize ni ninyo ni or as much as possible, very familiar with this. Kasi, if we raise a certain number to 2, that is simply equal to A times A. Diba? So, kung imo nang i-apply sa number 1 squared, that is equal to 1 times 1 is equal to 1. That is equal to... Okay, so 3 squared, that is equal to 9. 4 squared, that is equal to 16. 5 squared, that is equal to 25. 6 squared, 36. 7 squared, okay. Okay, 9 squared, 81. And 10 squared, that is equal to 100, okay. It does not stop there. Pwede pa na siya 11 squared. 12 squared, 13 squared, okay? So, kanilang sa akong gibuuna class. Always remember, all these numbers are perfect squares. Okay? Perfect squares. Dapat memorize na ninyo or at least very familiar with this. And also, we need to know the square roots sa atong perfect square. Again, square roots sa atong perfect square. Meaning, if we square a squared or if we square root a squared, that is equal to a. Tama? So, kung i-square ni mo si 1, 1 is a perfect square, gain square root ni mo, that is equal to 1. Si 4 is a perfect square, kwa ni mo yung square root, that is equal to 2. Okay? 9 is a perfect square, gain square root, na yung 3. So, you can check using your calculator all these numbers class until 10, okay? Or, we have 11 squared. So, these are, these numbers are the roots of your perfect square. Nga nung ako nag-remind kasi gamito nato ni as our lesson progress. Okay? So, take note of this. Get your notebook. Okay? Write down. I-pause ninyo. Write it down. So, if you have already a note with this, i-check ninyo. Kaya para dili mo mabiya sa atong biyahe. Okay? Let's go! So, we are now going to factor a perfect square. Or factoring a perfect square trinomial. So, when factoring a perfect square trinomial class, what we need to do now is to remember, again, quote and quote, remember these patterns so that we can be on the lookout for them when factoring. Meaning, dapat makabaluta, ma-identify na to, kabaluta mo determine, kabaluta mo tanaw sa perfect square trinomial. From the word itself, the phrase itself, ingon siya trinomial, meaning three terms. Diba? Pag natin makita nga expression nga tuluka terms, that is a trinomial. Our problem now class is if that trinomial is a perfect square. Okay? Perfect square kaya ni nga trinomial. So, ana na lang. So, mao na itong i-determine ka ron. Okay? So, this is the pattern class. Again, we need a pattern. Okay? These are the patterns meaning if you have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, equal ra na siya sa a plus b quantity squared or a plus b plus times a plus b. We, we all know, pag nakai squared, pwede ra na itong bulagon. Okay? Or you can have it like this. Tanawang middle term. Ang sa tunga, negative. So meaning, minus po dang atong factor. All of this class, this is now the perfect square trinomial pattern. Pattern pa lang na siya, ha? Mao ni ang perfect square trinomial pattern. If makabalo na ta sa pattern, automatic, this perfect square trinomials, mao ni siya ang iyang factors. 
Okay, monyang factor class. Meaning, pag na-determine ni, ah, perfect square yung trinomial ni, automatic, monyang iyang factor. Okay? So, some of you siguro confused pa until now, but don't worry. I-identify na to, isa-isa ho na to karong class, unsaon pagkabalo, if that certain trinomial is a perfect square. Let's go. So, how to identify a perfect square trinomial? So, sama sa akin ngayon, let's focus on the pattern. Sa pattern lang sa taklas, pag ma-determine na ito na automatic, dali na lang kuha o ng iyong factor. So, first thing is, the first term must be a perfect square. So, meaning, kaning iyong first term class dapat perfect square. Again, that's the reason why gibrought up na ako itong mga perfect square ganina class. Because dapat ma-identify ninyo ang first term as a perfect square. And also, dapat ma-identify na to, the last term must be a per perfect square also class. So meaning, this term nga nasa last, dapat perfect square put. Diba? Okay. So pag na-determine na nato na, isa na lang atong problema, ang middle term. So the middle term must be two times of the product, okay, product of the roots of the first and last term. Meaning, kuwao ni mong root ni first term, kuwao ni mong root ni second term, And I mean, kuwao ni mong root ni first term, kuwao ni mong root ni last term, imo na siyang i-multiply, then i-times 2 pa dyan ni mo, dapat mauna ang result sa imong middle term. If that is the result sa imong middle term, we can say now that that certain expression na gihatag sa toa is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so ayaw lang kayo kalibog because, okay, we will have a Okay, so we'll have an example class. Okay, this is this example. Okay, so before proceeding with the example, butang sa nato ang atong pattern. So we need this pattern class. Isa isa o nato ni atong pattern. Okay, so this is the example. X squared plus 12x plus 36. Okay, if you were asked, okay, find the factor of x squared plus 12x plus 36. So, first thing na nakita na ito karoon class, tulo siya ka-term. So, naa siya tulo ka-term. So, if naa tulo ka-term, pwede na ito basic perfect square trinomial ni. I-test na ako. Let's test. Tanao na ito. Let's evaluate. Ingun sa ito ang pattern, the first term must be a perfect square. Is x squared a perfect square? Yes. x squared is a perfect square. Pasok sa first pattern. Second pattern. Ang giingon sa second pattern is the last term must be a perfect square. Is 36 a perfect square? Pasok. Pasok tayo sa second pattern. And the last pattern is, ingon siya, ang middle term daw na to class dapat product siya sa roots sa imong first and last term times 2. Is 12x product sa roots sa imong terms nga first and last time times to pag yun. So, unsa atong unang buhaton? Kuha unsa na ito ang roots ni first term. Unsa ang root ni first term? So, i-square root ni mo si x squared. And that is equal to x. You get also the root of the last term na 36 and that is equal to 6. Diba? Naana ni ganina. Square root of 36. So, since nakuha na nato ang ilang mga roots, makuha na nato ang iyang middle term. Matest na nato ang middle term. So, tanaw ang middle term class. So, middle term, ingun niya, product ni roots. Sa imong first and last. So, unsang root ni first term? Diba, x? Unsang root ni last term? 6. So, that is x times 6, then times 2 pag yun, ingun niya. So, that is equal to 12x. Then you check, you compare, is 12x middle term equal to the middle term sa itong given? Since equal, then pasok tayo sa ating test sa pattern. So since that is now, pasok sa pattern na to, we can say that this is a perfect square trinomial. So yung na lang class. So kung perfect square trinomial na, we can now get the factor by using our pattern. So we need a pattern. Unsa nga pattern na itong gamiton? This pattern, tanawa. Kaya ang atong given class, puro plus tanan. So atong gamiton nga pattern, katong puro plus tanan. So that is equal to, okay, so kani ang atong sundon. 
So, you write down now, you're given, kasi pangitao na nato ang factor. Unsa ang pagpangita sa factor? Ingon niya, class, kailangan lang nato ang atong okay, kanik, class, root sa imong first term. Kaya nga naman, ang root sa imong first term mo, man na si A. ba? Diba? Ang root sa imong second term or last terms is mo na si B. So, meaning, that is A plus B. Therefore, that is equal to X plus 6. Then, squared quantity or parenthesis. Or pwede ni mo bulagon. Okay? So, yung ana lang class mag-factor of a perfect square trinomial. So, kailangan lang dyan yun na to i-determine if that is a perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, let's have another example. So, this time, so, you use the pattern, i-check na itong pattern kung pasok. First term is a perfect square. 4 is a perfect square. R squared is a perfect square. Pasok. Okay. Next, last term. Check. Is 9 a perfect square? Pasok. Very good. So, let's have now the last term. To get the last, uh, the, the, the middle term. To get the middle term, Kuhaon sa nato ang square root ni first term. So, square root of 4R squared, that is equal to 2R. Then, square root ni 9, that is equal to 3. So, makuha na nato karon class si middle term. So, to get the middle term, product daw nilang duha. Okay? So, that is 2 times 2R times 3. And that is equal to 12 R. So, check. Is 12R the same with here? Pariha? Pariha. So, meaning pasok yan. So, we can now say, therefore, that this is a perfect square trinomial. Okay? After sa atong evaluation. So, we can get now the factor using the pattern. Class, take note of the pattern. Tanawang pattern. This time, ang atong gigamit is minus na po ang middle term. Nga naman, Minus man ang middle term sa atong given. So, if minus ang middle term, we will use this factor. Okay? So, that is equal to A minus B, parenthesis squared, or A minus B times A minus B. Okay. So, automatic, we know that your first term na root is maunang imong A, and root sa imong last term is maunang imong B. So, therefore, that is equal to 2R minus 3. Or you can have it 2R minus 3 times 2R minus 3. Or 2R minus 3 squared. So, ing ana lang magkuha og factor ni perfect square trinomial class. So, ang lisod lang yun diri, or ang medyo gamay nga, medyo kailangan ni mo is to evaluate if kana nga trinomial is a perfect square ba. Again, last before proceed ta sa mga activities ninyo na nasa inyong module or sa inyong notebook or sa inyong book. So again, let's let's have this one. So check the middle first term. Pasok. That is a perfect square. Next. 25 at perfect square. Pasok. Okay. So next is get the square root sa bawat first and last term. So, square root of 9R squared, is that is equal to 3R. Next, square root of 25, that is equal to 5. So, check the middle term. So, that is 3R times 5 times 2. Diba? Kay 2 times the product of first and last roots. Okay? So, pila mo na siya. 2 times 3, that is 6 times 5, that is equal to 30. Check. If pareha. Oh. What's the problem here now, class? Meaning, ang middle term is not the middle term pala na kailangan niya to be a perfect square. Since dili man mao ang middle term niya, class, so that is not a perfect square trinomial. So meaning, though ang last term niya o ang iyang first term, class, is a perfect square, so dili mo't pasabot na automatic perfect square trinomial siya. Okay? You have to check first the middle term if pasok siya sa atong definition sa pattern number 3. So, therefore, this is not a perfect square trinomial. 
So therefore, we cannot factor the given using the patterns a minus 2ab plus b squared or a plus 2ab plus. So we cannot use this pattern class. Though ma-factor na siya sa lain nga pamaagi, pero we cannot factor that one using this pattern. Ana lang siya kasi. Okay? So, in your module class, na mo yung ani, for some of you answering different module, so, supply the missing term to make a true statement. So, dali lang, no? Tanawon lang ni mo ang first term niya, if that is the root of the first term sa imong factor. Di ba? Unsa ang root di ni D? Squared. Di ba D? Next, unsa ang root ni 36? Mao ng 6. Kung i-check ni mong middle term, that is 6 times D, di ba? Times 2, pila? 12D. So, tama ang middle. So, this is it. Okay, next. Check the first term. 16T squared. What is the square root of 16? 4. What is the square root of T squared? That is T. So, pasok. So, unsa ang imong last term? Square root sa imong last term? That is 9. So, tanawa class ang iyang sign. Minus kay minus mang imong term. Okay? Next. You have X to the fourth Y squared. So, class, isa-isa ni mo nag-square root. Sama sa inyong ako, divisible by 2, so perfect square. So, x to the fourth class, pag imo nang square root, that is equal to x squared. y squared, square root, that is y. So, pasok. Last term, square root of 9, z squared, that is 3z. Class, na pa siya missing ang sign sa tunga. So, check the sign nga na adere. Since minus man ang sign, you put minus sign. Okay? So, class, kanang tulo lang sa atong answeran. You continue. Okay? You answer that one. Okay? And the rest of the exercises and assessment na nasa inyong module. Okay? So, that's that's our lesson for today. Okay, class. Nakabalo na mo sa pag-identify sa perfect square trinomial. And after the identifying a perfect square trinomial, makuha na ni mo ang iyang factors. Okay? Again, this is El Maestro. So, thank you for watching, guys. Um, as an appreciation sa inyong ano, salamat yung kayo. I will continue to upload mga videos para at least mag-guide mo sa inyong module. And if you have question, just comment it down sa comment section. If na mo'y nalibugan, if na mo'y wa nasabdan, if meron kayong mga bagay na gustong i-clarify. Just comment it sa message box sa comment box para at least we can make video regarding sa inyong nalibugan or sa inyong kung asa mo na confuse. Okay? So, tell your friends that El Maestro is here to help you. Once again, thank you and God bless.